everyone. I'm Chelsea. I'm from Soros Community, and today I will introduce how to speed up iceberg metadata retrieval. And first, let me give a quick introduction about Soros. Starox is a Linux Foundation open source project. It has been upgraded from a MPP database to a Lakehouse query and acceleration engine. And as a Lakehouse query engine, Starox is natively integrated with Apache Iceberg and open standard file format. It's a good option if you want to accelerate your Lakehouse query. That's not only because Starox takes advantage of all the great features that we used to have as a high-performance MPP database, but also we have deeply integrated with Lakehouse architecture. Uh, we have developed a bunch of good features like data cache, materialized views. Still, we remain a very simple architecture with only two components, the FE and the CN. So overall, Starox is aiming to provide a data warehouse-like workloads and query experience on open format lake. Speaking of Iceberg, uh, if you are an Iceberg user, you probably will face these challenges. Um, for example, large queries that queries towards like a long period of a time uh, often got stuck in the job planning stage. And things will worsen when concurrency is high, right? Even cause the FE instability and cause FE for VC or even more function. Also, sometimes small queries are also not fast enough, even though you are querying a relatively small amount of data. Like if you not, cannot meet the P90 requirement of three seconds, right? And if you are using the materialized view, based on the iceberg table, and you may find out that the rewrite stage often takes too long. So here is a example. In the left image, you can see is a Starox profile. Uh, in the optimizer stage, there uh, it takes 140 second, seconds, right? Uh, it's a relatively long period of time. And uh, in the right image, this is a matrix that uh, is output by Iceberg SDK. And you can see the total planning duration is two minutes and 20 seconds. That's basically the same, right? Uh, that indicates that the entire duration of the optimizer was spent on the job planning. So why does job planning so hard? Actually, for all the query engines, not only Starox, we need to query the metadata from the uh, remote metadata service, right? But the I.O. is no longer the bottleneck. The decompression and decoding are, and the problem is universal. That is because the iceberg metadata, the manifest file, uh, they are in Arrow data file format and is highly compressed, like you need at least one second to process an eight megabyte file. So this is not acceptable in like interactive data analytics scenario, right? And also the problem is universal. Um, sometimes you may think, oh, my data is relatively small and I just need to query a few days of data. It's okay, but uh, because manifest file can be very big, it may contain tens of thousands of data files. Even though you may only need to access few of these files, you still need to process the whole manifest file. So the problem is universal. Both small queries and big queries suffer from it. And also the process, the whole process relied too heavily on the CPU and memory of the master node. Here, the master node, I'm referring to the node that actually received the query. In Starox, it will be one of the B uh, FEs, and in Trino, it will be the coordinator. So you can imagine that if the metadata is very big, things will be worse, or even take minutes to finish the job planning stage. So how can we solve this problem? Here is a thought. 
that why don't we just use Starrock's CN to distributedly solve this problem? Because job planning is collect metadata from iceberg, right? And it's kind of like a query towards the iceberg table's metadata table. So we can definitely treat it like a normal query. In this way, we can fully leverage Starrock's MPP distributed execution engine, which can be easily scaled. And we can take advantage of Starrock's CNS pipeline engine to make fully usage of each CNS memory and CPU. So there won't be any single node bottleneck anymore. And like normal query, all the process between FE and CN are async. So there will be no more waiting, no more resource wasted. So basically, we can reuse those optimizations that Starks do for years for normal queries. And by distributed plan, our FE will no longer suffer from high CPU and memory usage, and the job planning speed will be increased n times. N here, I refer to the CNS number. And here is a real world scenario, uh, comes from one of our community users. Uh, they are a top social app with 300 million monthly active users, and they have an ad hoc platform. And sometimes their users tend to submit queries that towards raw data. Uh, here is a specific example. Uh, the table is huge. It has almost more than 300 columns and the daily increment of the data is over 100 billion rows. So it's a big table. Before this optimization, they do have some metadata management, but it still takes minutes to finish the job planning. And even worse, their FE open 4GC. And after using the distributed plan, their FE's CPU and MEM usage are significantly decreased. Here is their testing result. They are using four CNs. Uh, before, they are using version 3.2 and for one week data and two weeks data, they need more than one minute to finish the job planning stage. And uh, after using the distributed plan in version 3.3, .3, uh, it only takes 11 seconds to finish one week data and it takes uh, 14 seconds to finish two weeks data job planning. So this is a significant improvement, right? And uh, you can see the iceberg job planning speed increased by n times, n refers to four in this case. We just discussed how we can improve in big metadata, right? But when the metadata is small, the distributed way won't be that efficient. Um, and uh, sometimes the local plan is good enough, but can we do better? So there is another optimization. If the bottleneck is decompressed and decoding, why don't we just catch the deserialized metadata file? Uh, this is another optimization in version 3.3, and uh, we do have some background incremental refreshing strategy to make the uh, catch the data to be updated. So before we mentioned that an uh, eight megabyte file takes one second to process during the job planning. And after this manifest catch, if the catch is hit, uh, it only takes 100 milliseconds. So this is very important in scenario like interactive analytics or uh, materialized view rewrite. There is another real world scenario that comes from our community user. They are a global travel company and their daily BI report platform is built on Iceberg. Uh, their Iceberg manifest is auto merged. That means that one manifest file may contain several months data. However, their daily queries only need to access data from the last few days. So even though the overall latency for small queries is not that high, but you know, you still need to process the whole manifest that contains several months data. So you can imagine that the, the proportion of the time spent on job planning is like more than 50%. So there is 
obvious a、uh, big room for improvement. So after using the manifest catch, their job planning stage reduced from one second to one hundred millisecond. We have introduced distributed plan, local plan, but how can we decide which plan to use? Actually, Starox will take care for you.、Uh, the process is when the query is submitted to Starox, Starox will see if the query really requires too much manifest file read. If it exceeds the threshold, then distributed plan. If not, then the local plan, and、uh, we can use the manifest catch as much as possible. So here I'll show you a demo. Okay, here I have two clusters. One is in version three point two, and one is in the latest main. They are deployed on two identical sets of machines. Each cluster has one MV and、uh, three CNs. And let's see. Here the version is three point two, and the version here is main. And also, three scenes. And now we can create two identical Asper catalogs. Version three point two. And version three point three. Okay. Ah,、uh, for a big metadata table, we use a big partition table, which is very common used in real world scenarios. Ah,、uh, first, ah,、uh, let's see the table's basic information. And here I'm querying the table's metadata table. And you can see from the results, ah,、uh, it contains one hundred rows. So that indicates the table contains one hundred manifest files. And for each manifest file, ah,、uh, is about eight megabytes and contains two hundred and forty thousand, ah,、uh, data files. And、uh, the partition ranged from one to one hundred. So it's a big table, right? And let's see what will happen if we query this table using version three point two. Here I'm using the trace values query, and it's like a developer query mode in Starox, and we can use this to observe how much time actually spent on job planning. And for the query here, I use select、uh, select star to avoid any pushdown or query optimizations.、Uh, and the predicate here, I'm using the par column equal to ten.、Uh, that means we will need to scan all the manifest files because you can see the lower bound and the upper bound is between one and one hundred. Okay, it takes a while, and、uh, you can see from the result, ah,、uh, the total duration is, ah,、uh, thirty seconds. And let's try it on version three point three. Same query. You can see from the result, ah,、uh, the first row. It means that、uh, Starox is already automatically choose the distributed plan, and in the second row, you can see from the total duration is six seconds. So by distributed plan, we accelerate job planning stage from thirty seconds to six seconds. That's a huge improvement. And now let's see. If the metadata is small, what will happen? And we are using another table. And first, still, we need to check the table's basic information. And you can see from the table, ah,、uh, it only has two 
manifest files. And one is 8 megabytes, and another one is just 2 megabytes. So this is a small table. And let's see how much time we'll spend on job planning in version 3.2. It's pretty fast. And let's see from the result. It only takes two seconds to finish the job planning. And let's try it in version 3.3. For the first time, you can see from the result, uh, it takes 1.3 seconds. It's already improved, and we do it again. You can see from the result, it only takes 160 milliseconds. That's because the manifest catch is hit. And we can try it again. 160 milliseconds. Try it again. Still. So you can see that Starox can automatically choose the suitable plan to use based on your query's situation. And overall, Asperg is a great and beloved product, and lots of users are using it. However, it do need to take some effort if you want to speed your queries on Asperg, right? Uh, but this demo, I'm trying to tell you, with Starox, things will be much more easier. And Starox will definitely be a good option if you want to accelerate your Asperg queries. And thank you, that's all of my presentation and uh, if you are interested in Starox, uh, you are more than welcome to join our Slack and also you can find us in GitHub, Twitter and LinkedIn. Keep in touch and uh, that's all for today. Thank you.